back to my channel. It's a day in my life. It is Thursday. I'm about to go to the store. I obviously made my coffee this morning and I have to go pick up some film today. We've got a Twin Flames photo shoot tonight. We're shooting it at Barney's Beanery, which is so funny to me. Um, but I have to go pick up film because I'm shooting it all on film. So we're gonna run to the store. My beautiful outfit of the day is this thrifted, goofy shirt that I got. Isn't it so cute though? I got it at a flea market and I love it. But anyway, um, good morning. Hi, let's go get film. Hello guys, I'm back. I went to the store. This is the film that I picked up. I use this Portra 400, it's Kodak film. I normally will order this on Amazon, but I didn't have time. So I have this one. I went and picked up a whole roll and then you guys always ask me what I shoot, like what I shoot film on. This is my Nikon Teletouch 300. Brandon bought me this as a birthday present like three years ago, maybe. That's so crazy. Me and Brandon were just talking about how it's so weird like that we've been together for, it'll be five years in November, but it's so weird because we'll be like, oh my God, yeah, I remember when that came out. And then he's like, wait, we were together then? That feels so weird. Like, I feel, we feel old. Like, we've known each other for so long. But he bought me this three years ago. How cute is that? And I love it. It's one of my favorite film cameras. He got it from like a resale place. So I'm sure you can find them on like eBay. But I'll put the name of it in the description. It's the Nikon Teletouch 300. And it's so cute. And then this is the film I use. So I picked up a bunch of film so that I can shoot the photo shoot tonight. I am about to make my Thai shrimp bowl that I always make. It's like my favorite thing ever. Brandon hates when I make it because it makes the whole house smell like shrimp. But we're out of olive oil. We ran out the other night when I was cooking dinner and I was like, oh, I need to go to the store. And then as I was sitting on my couch, I saw Maggie and I've seen a million people post this, but Maggie McDonald, I saw her story and it was immediately after I was just like, oh, I need to go to the store and get olive oil. And she was like using this brand of olive oil. And I've always wanted to try it because people always post this. And I'm like, is it really like, is it good? So as I was sitting there out of all olive oil, like, let me just order some. And I'm so excited about it. So I bought the little set and this one is the big one is called the sizzle and it's extra virgin olive oil. And then I bought this one, which is drizzle extra, extra virgin olive oil. I don't know why that was like a tongue twister for me to say, but there's two different kinds. The sizzle one is for like cooking. So like right now when I put my shrimp like in the pan and I like saute them and stuff, this is what I'll use for that. But for like a kale salad or something like that, like where you drizzle olive oil on it and you just like eat it kind of like without cooking or you need it on something. That's what this one is for. So there's drizzle and sizzle and I'm so excited about them. I also really like the the reason the main reason I got this is because I really like that it has a little like spout here. So really when you use it, you just like spray it like this. Whenever I use olive oil and I have to pour it out of the thing, I always use too much and it makes me so upset. So I really like that this is like a little like squirt bottle. Anyway, and they're like very aesthetically pleasing. Like I could leave these on my counter and it's kind of cute. So anyway, I got those and then I also have a PR package from Set. You guys know I love Set Active and they're always so nice to me and they always gift me and they have some new colorways and pieces. <gasps> I love this color. Look at these biker shorts. I love their biker shorts, but this color specifically, <gasps> this is so cute. They have a new style top. And it's like this, it's kind of like a plunge. I think it's called plunge something, but it's like a little V-neck top, but it's um, like all covered in the back. I, whenever I wear tops like this, normally they have like open back or something and it doesn't hold my boobs up. So I'm really excited to pair this with the shorts. These are gonna be so cute for like, you know, my little mom walks or Pilates if I ever go back. This little dress is so cute. I'm obsessed. It's like a little, like mini dress, but it's so cute because you know what? I love these and I think they're like so adorable and they have the shorts underneath them so I don't have to feel uncomfortable. This is so random, but stuff like this is so cute for Disney because when it's really hot out, I'm saying that as I'm wearing a goofy shirt, I feel like I, I sound like a Disney adult. I don't care. But if you have like an athletic, like, you know, like normally I'll wear like, you know, biker shorts or like something like this at Disney because it's always so hot. But if you want to look cute, there's like these little athletic dresses and they come in so many different colors. It's got like a little low back and they have shorts underneath it. So I don't know. I think that's so cute. And I love these colors for fall. Those would be so fun to style. So that's what I got in the mail. I'm so jittery because this morning I decided to put four shots of espresso in my coffee and I haven't eaten yet. So I'm going to go make lunch with my new olive oil.
It's been quite a minute since I last saw you. I went and did my makeup because I'm about to leave to go to the photo shoot. I'm not wearing the sweater because I'm packing them to put on a couple friends and have the model. But we literally have to leave in 30 minutes. And I have been waiting all day for this eight ball that we ordered to come in the mail. So let's open it up. Because the sweater it has a magic eight ball on it, I ordered a custom one off of Etsy. And we got to put like our, what we have on the sweater inside the eight ball. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this is so cute. So it's a magic eight ball, just like the one that's on the sweater. And then you shake it. And then it says, I mean, I don't know if I can show you. Like, I don't know if you guys can see. I don't know if it's gonna stay still. I don't know how to make that. How do I make it stay up? You can see it when you hold it like this and then it has like the eight ball on the other side of it. And it says, as I see it, yes, on it because that's what goes on the sweater. And it's gonna be so cute. We wanted to film a video of like someone like shaking this and then when it comes up straight, it's gonna be like a pan from the top and then we're gonna use it for promo and stuff. So that's why I ordered it off Etsy because I thought that that would be like a cute idea. So that's what we're doing. I'm so glad this came in the mail because I was hoping it got here today and it did. Hey, we're here. Seth is taking selfies. We have all the friends here playing pool in the eight ball sweater. <laughs> it's so cute. Grace is taking photos. You're not that guy. Good morning, everyone. I love how I'm in the same outfit that I was in last night when you guys saw me. I got home, went to sleep in this. This is the Skims cotton, uh, I was gonna say cotton jersey. I don't know, I think it's just the cotton collection. Love it. Um, and it's so comfortable and it fits so nice. And then I have this jacket on, but I got home, went to sleep in this. And I'm also wearing my matching Skims pajamas pants, you guys can see. And I'm up and I just put this big jacket on over it and I'm going to drop off the film that we shot yesterday. I've got three rolls to develop. I had, I bought five rolls and we only used three because my film camera died. I've had my film camera, like I said, I've had it for three years, I said that yesterday, and I've never changed the battery on it one time. And so I literally was so shocked when the battery died. I was like, oh my God, this takes batteries, the battery dies. So now today I need to go find, like these are the most random batteries ever for this film camera, so I need to go find film. But anyway, it's the next morning, and honestly guys, this morning I woke up with like such strange, unprovoked anxiety. Like last night when I was leaving the shoot when I was getting home, I was having such a hard time falling asleep. I was having, it's hard to describe when you have anxiety for no reason, there's nothing that I'm necessarily anxious about, but just like a pit in my stomach, like, just the most sickening anxious feeling and I'm like oh my god and then it starts making you be like well what's happening like why am I anxious I must be anxious for a certain reason what is this so I started spiraling last night and then I woke up this morning still feeling so so anxious for some reason I also woke up at 6 30 this morning I just yawned so now it looks like I have been crying but I woke up at 6 30 for no reason and I was like why am I up this early <laughs> So I read for like an hour. I woke up at 6.30 and then I was like, I'll just read my book. I don't have anything to do right now. I like reading when I wake up early because I like do it before I start my day. I can read at all times. So I woke up and I read a couple chapters and my aunt actually texted me this morning and was like saying that she was doing her daily like prayers in the morning where she like prays over people. And she was like, I just like had you on my mind to like pray for peace and stuff like that and I was like amen babe because like I woke up with such anxiety and I went to sleep with such anxiety I feel like God like put that on her heart to pray over me hello <laughs> uh, put that on her heart to pray over me and just like give me a sense of peace which I really needed and that when I woke up that was the first text message that I had on my phone and it was so reassuring and so nice so I loved that um, I don't have much today except for a little bit of work. I am going and I'm dropping off 
the film this morning. I'm driving there right now early because I want to be the first person to drop it off. The film developer that I go to, it's like in Koreatown and they do it same day, but I've only ever dropped off like one or two rolls at a time. I haven't ever dropped off three. So I'm really hoping if I'm the first person in line and I drop this roll of film off, they'll still develop all three of them today and give them to me just because I'm like dying to see the photos. I didn't take any photos yesterday on my phone. I'm back. I dropped the film off. I was the first person in line, of course. There's always a line when it opens though. It's always so busy, but I'm back home. I'm in my pajamas still, and I have my headphones on because I'm about to do a big deep clean of our house because it's honestly kind of a mess. I hate when it's messy. I always say that in vlogs. I'm always like, it's such a disaster, but it really is. It gets so messy so quick because it's such a small space. Anyway, I also think today I really want to put out our fall decor, so I'm gonna get out the stuff I have like that's stored away like our little bitty pumpkins and our cute blankets and like just like any fall decor that I have still in the closet I'm gonna take that out today and decorate this is what my apartment looks like like I just have all my clothes from the photo shoot that I did with Grace literally two days ago I just have like a bunch of all the sweaters big mess this needs to be cleaned up. I have dishes in the sink that I need to do, so I just have, you know, a bunch of cleaning, but I love cleaning. It is so therapeutic for me to like have a nice clean space and like be cleaning around the house. I feel like I'm always doing it, but I find it therapeutic to like always clean up, so that's what I'm gonna do. Do I look like I just woke up? Because I did. I think me waking up at 6.30 this morning like caught up with me because at like 3.45, which is like normally the time of the day where I get the most tired, I was sitting on the couch after I cleaned and did some work and I just fell asleep. And normally you guys, I can't fall asleep without a show on or anything like that. I fell asleep on my couch in the dead silence like I was just literally sitting there and I was just like <laughs> like you know when you're that tired and you just go to bed yeah that was me just now so I just fell asleep and now I'm changing and I'm gonna go on a walk with Sheila and Destiny we're gonna go to Beverly Hills because we like to walk over by Beverly Hills it's like there's like cute little walking areas over there and they just got off work so it's like five o'clock right now and I'm gonna go meet them all so we can all ride together and then all go drive and walk together so I'm like fixing my hair a little bit because I'm looking a little crusty. I'm wearing my new set that I just got from Set Active. I love this color you guys it's such a pretty green and I really like this top too like I like the um the way it fits it's really secure but it's very cute adding on a little bit of this glow screen because we're going outside now I'm ready for my walk I came home from my walk and Brandon, Brandon made us dinner. He made us tacos and corn and we've got Cokes. Also, I put my pumpkins out. I have to figure out where these go. But he made us dinner. How cute. I'm not, I'm not bringing the nip. I'm zooming in so there's no nipple out. <laughs> 